Hey, good morning. Um, it is a very rainy day in New York and predicted to be very rainy all day. And sometimes when it rains or it's cloudy and gloomy, people get in a bad mood. I, for one, am not a great fan of the rain. I'm not. Um, it is depressing. You know, people actually have that awful disease or syndrome where, you know, if they don't see the sun, um, it really affects their mood. So, rain is a fact of life, especially in spring. I mean, to me, oh great. Spring, to me, means rain. You know, I grew up in Chicago. I've lived the rest of my life in New York and Connecticut. And to me, spring just means rain. And rain means bad hair days. So when I go out later today, this hair goes up on top of my head with my rain hat over it. And that is how I live most of spring. So, okay, cut to the chase. How do you snap yourself out of a bad mood? So I thought about, I did, I did um, a blog a while ago ways to really snap yourself out of a bad mood. Um, and I'll kind of expand on that right now. Hello, Lloyd. Um, so the first thing is be grateful for what you have and take out your checkbook or go online and make a donation. I think that that cash I love. Um, I think making a donation is one of the best ways that we can get out from our own egocentric life. And uh, it snaps me out of a bad mood, you know. Um, even if it means going on Amazon Smile and buying something that you really need and giving that extra money uh, to charity. So Amazon Smile, I, I, I hope people use that because it really is such a great thing. Um, because, you know, while you're buying something you need, a percentage of that goes to charity. Now, that shouldn't be all of it. If you can afford to do more, it makes you feel great. So, one good way to snap out of a good mood. The other, dance. Can you really think of anything that puts you in, Suzanne? A better mood than when you're dancing. I can't. Dancing is, does it for me. You know, I put on Pandora and I select, you know, for me personally, Michael, Michael, jo uh, Michael Jordan. No, that would do it. <laughs> Michael Jackson. And some of the, you know, beat it and can't stop till you get enough. I mean, come on definitely snaps me out of a bad mood. Singing, singing is also a great way. Now singing <laughs> takes me out of a bad mood, but it would put anybody in proximity to me in a terrible mood. So I have to do it when I'm alone because I am the world's worst singer. Suzanne's on there. She is a great suck. Okay. Put on a funny movie. Stream or if you have it on your DVR, or um, if you've got a, a DVD, put on a funny movie. To me, that movie is Caddyshack. <laughs> Bill Murray, he just has to stand on the, you know, he has to look at the camera, and I am in hysterics. Now, some people may not find that very sophomoric humor funny, but to me, oh God, Caddyshack? I cannot keep a straight face. And then you've got Rodney Dangerfield in that and Ted Knight and Chevy Chase. It's just a freaking hilarious movie. Okay? Another way to snap yourself out of a bad mood. Eat chocolate. What is about the cure for anything, you know. It is, there's nothing better than dark chocolate. And this bar will be gone shortly, you know, 70%, this is 73%, it's organic, it's good for you, and man, you cannot stay in a bad mood when you're eating chocolate, you just can't.
Okay. Next, read a mystery novel. Okay, it's gloomy and it's kind of cold out and you don't want to go in and you're in a bad mood. Get lost in a book. Um, you know, some people read nonfiction and that takes them away. Nonfiction really, to me, is a whole different experience. It doesn't take me out of a bad mood or um, something intriguing, an, you know, two converse plot lines, something like that. Historical fiction always takes me on, out of a bad mood because you really can get lost in it. So. Um, if you're among the spiritual, um, you can chant or you can meditate. That also can take you out of a bad mood, especially chanting. Chanting, you know, have not experienced, um, you know, that. Um, get a, your mala out and chant and you're going to be in a great mood. Um, if Paula were on here, she would say, do kundalini yoga because it raises your consciousness. That also takes you out of a bad mood. Yoga in general will bring you into um, a much better mood. And there's, you don't have to go to a class. I mean, turn on your computer. That's it. There, um, so those are my ways. Donation, sing, dance, watch a great movie, eat dark chocolate, Read a mystery novel. Um, do some personal growth. Um, yoga, chanting, meditation. Um, get spiritual and feel better. So anyway, I have an appointment. I'm going to put my wellies and I'm going to face um, the day prepared and also bring my chocolate along so I can make sure that I'm in a great mood. So what I'd like you to do, if you are on here live or if you watch it later, please go into the comments section and let me know how you get out of a bad mood. That's what I want to know, you know. Um, oh, I forgot. Did I say call a good friend? Call a good friend. That is another way that really gets you out of yourself and, you know, reminisce. Call somebody you haven't spoken to for a very long time. You'll just feel great afterwards. So anyway, please know how you get out of a bad mood. Your, your two best ways of getting out of a bad mood. All right? Thanks for being here. I'm calling these live video. Ah, Suzanne, thank you. Yes. That was great. Um, I'm calling these live with Lynn. Um, you know, I'm on this 21 day video challenge for those of you who don't know. This is day four. And those of you who haven't figured it out by now, I love doing this. The Leo in me just, the Leo in me just, you know, the ham, it's right here. So I basically love doing these videos. I hope you love watching. Um, remember to put in the comments how you get out of a bad mood. I guess winning the lottery would be a way, but, you know, God knows it's kind of difficult to do that. Um, see you tomorrow.